happy for our guys to bounce back and to respond when we needed to. And guys off the bench, it gave us a boost. It's good to see you know, Tyler and Steve be really efficient with their numbers. Um, you know, same thing with good to see uh, you know Chucky made some plays for us. It's good to have Connor to see the ball go in, which I think is big for him. So um, in large part, like I said, just when teams do that and the, the switching and jamming things up, it, it gives it. Uh, there's no flow to the game, which I felt we never got into a consistent, consistent flow where we could get con continuous rhythm offensively. So you got to find other ways to to get things done, and we were able to do that. So, questions? Nick, go ahead up front. Hey Greg, you mentioned some of Stevens' efficiency, but you know obviously the double double, three assists, and it seems like he obviously could have a couple more kind of kickouts to wide open shooters. What's it out tonight, especially kind of as a facilitator from the post? Yeah, I think I mean he's he's really good at that. He's a he's a good weapon to play through, um, whether it's you know mid post, low post, high post. Um, his ability to pass and make good decisions, um, and obviously you have to have his unselfishness. Sometimes I, he's too unselfish, and I'd like to see him be more aggressive in there. But um, you know it's a it's a good weapon when you have bigs that can pass that really. You know, creates a lot of issues for a defense, and and we're able to finally get him the ball more. I wanted to go to him more, but um, you know when we were able to finally get him loose a little bit, and and uh, you know he made good decisions when he did have it in there too. Jeff, Greg, you mentioned where they left it up, but it, it seemed like you guys got the ball inside in the first half, mm -hmm. in the second half, at least that early stretch where they kind of came back on you. Settling, yeah. Settling for three yeah, I thought we were too impatient, you know, at times, and that's what that switching and mucking that up and whatever combinations they're playing. Um, the whole idea is to get you to stop cutting and slow down in your cutting, and and not we have to not take that bait, you know, and give in to taking the first easiest shot we can get. When we were more patient. We got better looks, either wide open threes or we get stuff point blank at the rim. Yeah, I mean, and I thought there was probably two or three others that got away from him, you know, that he could have had. Um, so, but I, I like the activity on both ends. He was big there, you know, in the down the stretch of the second half, we were able to, you know, as we were pulling away, he extended some possessions there with offensive rebounds and and getting us another 20 seconds to to run offense. So I like the aggressiveness that, you know, not only him, we've had other guys that have gotten after the offensive glass, you know, more consistently here of late, and that's good. We need that. Greg, you guys have won four straight now. Obviously, I know it wasn't perfect tonight, but just ahead of a huge rivalry game on Saturday, are you starting to see this team become what it can become? I think we're getting there. I think we're, we're a little more consistent, especially on the defensive end. I thought we were – Decent defensively tonight. It was the offensive rhythm that we just couldn't couldn't get a rhythm. But um, you know, we know we've got you know really good teams coming uh, down the road here, starting with Saturday. Um, but it's still about making sure we're trying to play the game as well as possible. And I think the Florida trip was good for us. You know, I thought we did some really good things there. And then you have to carry it over and and grow it. And and that'll be the it continue to be the challenge going forward. Jeff. You might have been asked this really early in the season about Chucky, but with more scoring options this year, I mean, he picked his spots right. late today. Do you think that has taken some stress off him, that he can be more assertive in spurts? Yeah, I think so. I mean, he's more patient in ball screens. I think we've, we've implemented more of those and, and worked on those more to really play to his strengths. Um, and then specifically when you got a, you can put a seven-footer on the roll at the rim with Steve. and. Um, so I, I think just the patience and the awareness uh, of those around him. I think our, the teammates are doing a good job of finding his sight lines. Um, so it's I think he he understood Coach Guard wasn't real happy there in the second half. So when I had him out and he said, "All right, I'll just go back in and slam the door shut here, and Coach can calm down over here as we we're sputtering along." But um, you know he just has a chance to he has the ability to to take a game over and to make plays like he does, and you know that's. The, the luxury of having a mature point guard. Go ahead. What's going on with Carter? And I guess, how do you feel if Marcus played 
minutes. Yeah, he's um, Carter was questionable for tonight, and then I just decided he went through warm ups and said I can I can give it a go, and I just decided with I was going to see how the game started, and then decided not to play him. So that was my decision, just so he could continue to um, rest his lower body. Um, and I thought Marcus did. You know, Marcus is someone I've wanted to get because he's practiced well. I think he's played well when he's been in. Um, you know, it's and to get him some minutes and get him in there, and I thought he did. I thought he did a good job. I mean, I thought he did. Um, I didn't see any. I'll look through the tape. Any defensive breakdowns? Um, he's he's much improved defensively. He's much more physical. Um, he rebounds the ball pretty well. Uh, I know he he liked to have that free throw back, but uh, he followed it up with a three. So, uh, just someone that gives us another a little different dimension off the bench with a bigger guy that can really shoot it. So. Um, I think it's a it's a good luxury to to have, you know, when you have somebody banged up that um, you can go to the next guy and he's ready to go. Go ahead, team in the S Media. Congratulations on the Fort Myers tip off. Uh, how much more dynamic does Stephen Crowd makes the offense when he's being a facilitator? Yeah, I mean, anytime you have a big guy that can pass, I mean, I think that's a huge luxury, and, and you know, Stephen's always had that skill. Um, I think we got another one developing it. Nolan Winter is really very similar in terms of his feel for the game. Um, but yeah, Steve just he doesn't get rattled. He's really calm, and that's that's not always um, common for big guys. You know, around traffic or getting double teamed. He handled double teams really well in in Fort Myers from those two teams. So, um, like I said, when you have a big that can pass, it, it's a it's a really good weapon. Said one more for Coach here. <clears throat> and, uh, Tyler, I've said again and again that you know being more physical is a constant reminder. I guess you know why is that something that needs to be I guess told to them over and over. And it's you know, it's a mindset. You know, it's not so much about the physical. The physical contact is a part of it, but playing physical is a mindset, and, and that's something that this group has gotten better at. You know, we weren't good enough early. We were too loose in some of those early games. And not making it, not being physical enough, and, and I think we've started to figure out how that can positively impact our play. And and it, again, it's a mindset that we want to establish. And um, you know, they they understand now. I think that it's you know it's it's the physical contact. It's the whether it's bumping on ball screens, um, rebounding, screening, just. Just having a physical presence, and and really that gives you a, uh, I think a mental um, advantage, so to speak, when you're the more physical team. So um, it's really about about mindset. That's really what we've talked about is how physically we have to play, and when we do, we're we're a much better team.